Today we're going to be talking about the John Deere compact tractor range, but specifically the 126R and 226R compact tractors. To explain the model numbers, we have a one family uh, series tractor and a two family series tractor and three and four and so on within the range within John Deere. The following number then denotes the horsepower of the tractor. After that, we have a letter and that denotes the specification of the tractor. So an E series is a standard specification tractor. An M is a midpoint specification tractor and an R is a premium tractor. So the tractor on my left hand side is a one family tractor, 26 horsepower, an R specification or high specification tractor. There is a slight difference between the two tractors we have here in the fact that the smaller wheel tractor, the 126R, is classed as a subcompact tractor and the 226R is classed as a standard compact tractor. You might be wondering why we have two compact tractors with the same horsepower. If you actually look at the tractors, you'll see that one tractor is slightly larger than the other. The larger tractor is able to handle larger implements. So depending on the functionality of the tractor and what you require for your operation, we have two choices within this horsepower sector to truly suit your application and need. So looking at the tractors in a little greater detail, we can quite clearly see the two series of tractor has larger wheel gear and a longer wheelbase compared to the 126R. Looking at the cutting decks, you can quite clearly see that the 226R has much more ground clearance under the cutting deck compared to the 126R tractor. One thing we want to make sure is that when the tractors are correctly ballast, they can handle the load uh, on the tractor to ensure that they are safe in their operation. So having looked at the physical size of the tractor, it quite clearly demonstrates that both of these tractors can be used for different functions. So whether you're homeowner, landscaping, contracting, professional grass cutter, uh, nursery manager, equine, or many other tasks, these two little tractors are really capable of being the ultimate workmate for your roles. They really are the Swiss army knife of the compact tractor world. But a compact tractor is only as good as the implements that you put on that tractor. And as the original supplier of the tractor, our loaders and our cutting decks are really second to none. Later on, we will show you just how easy these implements can be removed from the tractor. So our quick attach loader can be taken on and off the tractor in under a couple of minutes. And the same with our drive over cutting deck. We will clearly show you how the removal and attachment of these implements can make your life much easier, make your working day more productive. So both the 126R and 226R share the same engine, which is a three cylinder diesel engine. They are very easy to maintain. So what I'm gonna do now is just show you quickly how you do your daily maintenance checks. These particular tractors have what we call single side servicing. So we only have to stand on one side of the tractor to do all of the checks, whether they are visual or actually removing a dipstick, say for the engine oil. So the first one I've got, I've got a visual check on the air restriction indicator. I can also visually check the coolant level. I can move forward and check the screen to ensure that the radiator is clean. I can come back here, I can actually see the fuel filter, a water separator, and also just here, without removing the bonnet, I can also do the oil check on the engine. So looking in slightly greater detail on the air filter, John Deere is standard fit a dual element air filter. So in other words, should one air filter get blocked, we have a secondary air filter to ensure no debris or ingress into the engine, thus protecting a major component of this product. So should you need more access, say for a service, we can easily remove the side panels I've just done there, which gives you really good access for changing your oil filter. So coming to the back of the tractor, looking at the linkage, both of these uh, tractors have a limited category one linkage. Category one is what we would expect to see most implements size wise for these products to use. Uh, on this particular tractor, looking at the 226R, we can see we have an optional SCV kit. So if you did need hydraulic power to the rear of the tractor, we can fit as an option to both of these tractors, making the product far more versatile in the type of implements we'd like to use with these particular tractors. Also on the back of both tractors, we have a clevis type drawbar. So should you wish to use trailed implement, you lift the pin, attach the implement, drop the pin back down, ensuring we use the safety clip and you're ready to tow. So we've talked about the category of the linkage, but what can a tractor actually pick up? This particular tra tractor has a specification of being able to pick up 415 kilos, 610 millimeters behind the balls. So the ball here 
610 millimetres, the tractor can pick up 415 kilos at this point. This is much more realistic because the implement is likely to be sitting back here. So it means you can actually match the correct implement to the tractor. So looking at the 126R, this particular tractor can pick up 344 kilos, again, 610 millimetres behind the balls. So it means we are ideally suited to match the right implement to the right size of tractor. So from a safety aspect, both tractors are fitted as standard with rollover protection systems and seat belts. Whilst we don't want anybody to have an accident on the product, the safest place to be is with the seat belt on and the roll bar up. Should you have an application where you need to put the roll bar down, you need to do your own risk assessment to ensure that it is safe to do so. So let's take a closer look at these compact tractor operator stations. Here on the 126R, for comfort, we have a handrail on the right hand side, as well as a tool storage area, cup holder. We have a fully adjustable steering column for comfort. And then moving on to the seat, we have adjustability in forwards and backwards, as well as two dials depending on operator weight for comfort. These can just be adjusted and trialled based on the customer's preference. And finally, on the left hand side, again for comfort, a grab rail. So looking at the operation of our John Deere compact tractor, as with all of our products, we have colour coded controls for consistency. Starting on my right hand side, we have the lift and lower of the three point linkage and we have the position control. This enables us to lock the height desired for the three point linkage and return it again and again when using an implement. Next we have our joystick, which controls the movement of our loader, as well as our selective control valve. This is lockable for safety during transport. And then next to this, we have the part brake. And below the handbrake, we have the four wheel drive engagement lever. In the center, we have an adjustable rate of drop. This means that if you have a heavier implement and you want it to be lowered slower, simply adjust the dial. For tractor movement, we have twin touch pedals because of our hydrostatic transmission. One pedal for forwards, one pedal for backwards. We also have a mechanical cruise control engaged on this lever here. Looking at the right hand side of the console, obviously we have our ignition and then the colour coded controls follow the John Deere styling. Hand throttle, we also have yellow switch, which is our PTO engagement. And then we move on to our lighting, starting with our hazard warning lights. On to the left, we have our indicators. Then we have our horn. And then we have two light switches. One for road lighting, the other for our work lights. And finally, we have our deck raise and lower. So let's move on to the left-hand side of the operator station. Firstly, by my foot here, we have a brake. We also have our diff lock. Then we have an adjustable height of cut dial if one of our auto connect decks is installed. Color coded orange lever for high low transmission selection. And then down on my left-hand side, we have our PTO selection. We can either have mid PTO, rear PTO, or both running at the same time, depending on application. And finally, we have adjustable mirrors. So that's just a quick overview of the operator station on the 126R and 226R tractors. And I think you can see there's a lot of nice features that give the operator a great experience. So both of these tractors utilize a two-speed hydrostatic transmission. Just to explain what a hydrostatic transmission is, it's a sealed hydraulic pumping unit that allows us to govern the speed of the tractor at whatever speed we like. It's infinitely variable. The further we put our foot down on the forward pedal, the faster it will go to go into reverse and let the forward pedal come back to neutral. Then select the reverse pedal and it's the same operation. The further you push the pedal down, the faster the tractor will go. Whilst these tractors have a very similar transmission, you can see they obviously have different sizes of wheel, which means the 126R tractor will have a maximum speed of nine miles per hour and the 226R tractor will have a maximum speed of 13 miles per hour. Depending on what application you have, we do have a choice of tyres. 
both tractors you see sit here with turf tires on, but we do have the option of fitting a industrial tire for heavier use or maybe for hard surface operation. Or in the aftermarket, there are plenty of different tire options to suit your needs. As I said earlier, a compact tractor is only as good as the attachments you can fit to it. Two of our most common attachments are the loader and the cutting deck. In the next demonstration, we're going to show you how easy it is to remove our quick catch loader and our drive over cutting decks. The first thing to do is find a nice level flat surface. Shift the tractor into neutral and then power the bucket down to lift the front wheels off of the ground. Once the wheels are off of the ground, the main latches can be undone on the loader frame. Then using the tractor hydraulics, we remove the loader and the loader is now pushing the tractor away from the loader itself. The loader is now removed, apply the handbrake, turn the engine off and relieve the hydraulic services. At this point, we can now get off of the tractor and go around and disconnect the hydraulic services. So this time we are going to show you how to remove the John Deere drive over cutting deck. We're doing this on grass because it does make the job a little bit easier. So pull in, put the handbrake on on the tractor. We then need to lower the jockey wheels. Lowering the jockey wheels enables all of the weight of the cutting deck to be on the ground. We then lift the dial for the height of cut into the lowest position, allowing the cutting deck to go completely on the ground. And now we'll get off of the tractor and release the latching mechanism on the underside. We will then ensure that four wheel drive is engaged. And now we can reverse back over the cutting deck. This process relieved all the linkage and it also disconnects the PTO drive shaft. As you can see there are no mechanical operations required to take the cutting deck off of the tractor. So we've introduced the 126R and the 226R compact tractors. Should you need more information please go to one of our professional dealers who will be more than happy to assist in helping you get the right product for what you need. You can also visit johndeere.co.uk should you require more specific information about these products.